Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to show you how building a simple contact form would work within the newest version of Weebly, which is Weebly 4. Um, so you get to the editor page of your basic website, and then if you go over here on the left, you're going to see a bunch of different drag and drop elements that you can place inside of your Weebly pages. I've already gone ahead and created a uh, extra page here called Contact. It's the same as all the other pages. You would just go to the page tab, you can hit plus and title it contact or whatever you want it to show up here as the link for. And then down here, you're gonna see contact form. There's also a newsletter form if that's interesting for you. Um, but with contact form, this would be where uh, they're trying to get in contact with you or business discussions or whatever. And you want to collect some information from them so that you can respond to them properly when uh, you receive the message. So this is what the default form is going to look like. Um, we're going to want to click in there to edit. And you'll notice that the moment we do that, that a lot of extra form fields show up here on the left. So for the most part, this is going to be the different kind of information we're trying to collect. So for instance, we could have some checkboxes there which um, might be a list of different things, which the customer may um, have the option of choosing as a service you provide. So if we were going with, um, let's say website design or development services, we can click here to navigate into the option items, title them. So uh, let's say logo design, PHP development, and uh, maybe web hosting as an extra option and you can add more options to that but the idea here is that uh, your user would just go ahead click on these uh, to choose any or all of them and it would get submitted inside of the contact form uh, when they go ahead and submit uh, and that's of course down here at the bottom for that little submit there so comment uh, that's a default field would be whatever the user wants to say to you you might want to specify some information with instructions down here. So instructions, please tell me, uh, let's say the name of your company, the style of project you have in mind. So that could be WordPress, Weebly, etc. And your budget as well as any extra information you deem necessary. So if you haven't gotten the sense yet, it's pretty straightforward and uh, able to be done by pretty much anybody. So that information we just typed there uh, just got added as a little hover over here, which isn't too bad. Uh, as an alternative, you could grab a text field over here. And this would always show rather than just hovering over there. So. This is a, uh, this text field always shows the instructions. Okay, so other things you might want, phone number for contact, which is just another drag and drop field, probably doesn't need any editing. So once you go ahead and hit save and you start getting submissions to this form, uh, they will appear in this view entries tab you see here. Uh, but in addition to that, you should be getting notified through Weebly uh, as you start to get contact from your users. So really, you don't need much extra setup than that. Uh, if you do want to add more than five fields, though, you do need to upgrade to Weebly Premium. But uh, five fields may be good for most contact forms that you need to set up. So I'd say go ahead, give it a try, see if you like it. And that's pretty much all there is to setting up a contact form inside of Weebly 4. So I've been Chris, hope you enjoyed this brief tutorial for Weebly, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.